Welcome back. This video presents features of bolstscore.com that are mostly optional. So let's log in like I'm going bowling. And I'm on lane 5. Handicap of 21. And now, on lane 6 next to me, is my opponent, War Turkey, my match play opponent. So I can go to Opponents, Match, Select from the people who are logged in, and I'm clicking Refresh. And now I'm turning it sideways to make it small. And it will show you both score sheets together, adjusting by handicap and pending marks like you would expect on TV. You can go back there at any time. In addition, you can, anyone from the home page of bowlscore.com can now look me up and watch my game live from any cell phone or computer on, on Earth. Okay. Now, let's just say I got a Brooklyn. That's not particularly good, but it's not bad. But to indicate that, and this is totally optional, you put an L in the score blank indicating lucky, and then you can see it records that down next to your strike, it has a subscript L indicating that was a lucky strike. Now, on a positive note, once in a while, not often enough, I get a messenger strike. So when that happens, and this is optional, you can put an M in the blank indicating messenger, and we'll record that that strike was a messenger strike. Now, let's say you're the kind of person who likes to keep track of your boards. You go to Menu, Scoring Press, Boards, and now, on your strike shot, you'll get boards. Whoops. Okay, so now I pipe in my boards. And so now if I make my shot... That gets recorded. Now on your second shot, the boards do not appear. Back to my first shot, there they are. Now we'll keep track of your boards from the left or right lane separately so that if the lane conditions are different, it will help you remember what, was, what boards you used last on that lane. Now, let's say you really like to put in data. You can go to your competition list, menu, bowling balls. So now my favorite ball is the Storm Marvel Pearl. And now your first ball in your list has to be a strike ball. Following balls can be strike balls or spare balls. And I also have in astrophysics. Okay, and that's also a strike ball. Now, I usually get storm balls, but I also have a Brunswick visible that I use for my spare ball. Now, to indicate that it's a spare ball, down where it says spare pin, you press that, and now, for me, I'm using the six pin. What that means is, when it's a second shot, and any, and the pins that are left are to the six pin, or to the right of that, which is the ten pin, then that's when I use a spare ball. So that indicates a six, if I leave a 6-pin, a 10-pin, or a 6-10, it's going to default to this spare ball. 
If, uh, if it's not, it's going to default to the strike ball. So there we have our list of balls. So now, when we're scoring, in addition to putting in the boards, which is optional, you can also optionally put in what ball you're throwing. So let's say I throw this shot, I get a 4-6. And of course, I miss. So now I say, ah, I'm upset with that. I'm going to change balls to my astrophysics. And so now, oh, look, I got a strike. I'm happy now. So it's now recording the ball that you use to throw your shots. And those are basically the optional scoring features of bowlscore.com.